Greetings, YouTube. Beautiful mind here. Uh, this question comes in from College Algebra from our section 1.1, question 57. Uh, it says, solve the equation for x. <clears throat> so let's take a look at this one. So let's start by getting a copy of the original. We have, um, let's see, we have 3x equals 2x minus 2 times m plus 7. And then x is to solve for x. So what, what we want to do, we want to uh, look at some ways of isolating the x. We want to get the x by itself, all right? So we have a binomial times a binomial. Um, dang, I don't think I have it ready. <clears throat> so uh, let's see. You know, we have a binomial because we have two terms times another um, expression of two terms. So we're going to use it, the technique of FOIL. FOIL. FOIL stands for first, outer, inner, and last. <coughs> so we're going to use the technique of FOIL. So if we FOIL this, uh, we're going to say first times the first. The 3x is going to come down. 2x times m is just going to be 2xm, right? Outer times outer, so this times this. <clears throat> uh, 2x times 7 is just going to be 14x. Inner times inner, so that's these two. That's going to be a negative 2m. <clears throat> and the last times the last... That's going to be negative 14. Okay. So at this point, what we want to do is isolate our variable. So any terms that has a variable, we're going to use uh, the additive or the multiplicative property of equality and move it to the left. Well, in this case, we're actually just going to use the additive property of equality and move them to the left. Anything that does not have an x, we're going to let it stay on the right side of the equation. <clears throat> so uh, we see that we have... And next here, so we want to move we want to move that term and we want to move this term. So those two terms in blue, right? So we're going to use the additive property of equality. So, so what is the inverse operation? Notice that this one is positive, or it's a it's, an, it's essentially a plus in front of it. What's the inverse operation of addition? Is going to be subtraction. So essentially, what we're going to do, <clears throat> we're going to add a negative two x. M on both sides, negative 2xm. Also, we're going to move the 14x. So the in inverse property of plus 14 is going to be minus 14x, minus 14x. So again, the very first couple of topics that we talked about that first day of class was the additive and multiplicative properties of equality, which says that we can add the same real number to either side of the equation to preserve equality, and we can... Yeah, that's that's essentially what we did. So we added negatives here. That was that was closed under under our um, property. So <coughs> a number plus its opposite goes to zero. A number plus its opposite goes to zero. And on the left, we want to do our best to combine like terms. So we actually do have a couple of like terms. The negative fourteen x plus three x <coughs> should give us a negative eleven x minus two x m. The equal sign comes down. Those are zero. On the right-hand side, we're left with negative 2m minus 14. Okay, so from here, now that we've isolated our variable, we got the variable on one side of the equation and um, terms without the variable on the other. Next thing we want to do, so there's a technique. I was trying to get some of the students to see this early today, but I can see the fog going off in their mind. Um, we want to use a technique called factor. Factor is like reverse distribute. So it's almost kind of like they merge, right? So we want to factor out the x's. So if we factor out x, <clears throat> if we factor out x, we will be left with negative 11 minus 2m. And then on the right-hand side, I think that just stays as is. Those are unlike terms. We can't combine them, so we let them stay. 
So now at this point, we just have something times x. <clears throat> so we just need to move that something, right? What's the inverse operation of multiplication? The inverse operation of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide both sides by this something. Keep in mind, the black part right here is just some number. You know, you, you have to realize that this is just a number. So just some number times x. So then we're going to move this number to the other side using the inverse operation here. So since we have multiplication, the inverse operation is going to be division. So long story short, <clears throat> we're going to divide both sides by a negative 11 minus 2m. Okay. Negative 11 minus 2m. Okay. Something divided by itself, uh, they canceled, it divides to become 1, very zen-like. <clears throat> bring down our equal sign. So then ultimately, x equals negative 2m minus 14 divided by negative 11 minus 2m. I'm trying to see. Um, yeah, this, this should be enough here. <clears throat> this should be enough here. Right, and so with that, we're going to end the session here. And from one, one from one beautiful mind to another, enjoy the rest of your day.